Hi guys, I was just testing out uh, Nuke 7 uh, and I found uh, so, uh, two cool nodes the Relight node and the Position to Points node I'll explain it to you uh, what it is later So this is my basic diffuse map Just zoom in a little This random tin of Houdini is uh, nothing fancy It has multiple uh, passes so this is my uh, reflect pass. Refra this is my refract pass. Also got a position pass and a normal pass, which I required for the relight node, which I'm gonna show you right now. So this is really basically set up with uh, a fog material, some lights, and a camera, and of course a relight node. So let's take a look at that. This, it looks. Uh, it doesn't look that uh, fancy at all, but let let me see it in the 3D view. So we have nothing. So I, I created a position to points node, so you can see the point cloud from the position, p uh, which takes in the position pass and the normal pass, and generates a point cloud out of it. This is not geometry; this is ju uh, it's just a point cloud. So you can see uh, at what angle I've been uh, rendering this out in Houdini, which makes uh, lighting really easy here in this viewport. So I can change this light here, and my point cloud should uh, get updated. Um, let me add another panel. Let's go horizontal, new view, and here. This one should go over here. So if I change the light here, you can see it's getting updated. This is quite neat. So I can do lighting in Nuke now. I knew it w existed before, but never tried it actually. So I wanted to show you guys how it works. So I got two lights over here. Let me see where the second light is. Oh, I turned it off actually. Can't really find it. Let me revert the values back to zero. Ah, here it is. So, let me move this light. fun to play with this and it's quite easy to set up all you need is a position pass and a normal pass so I can even change the color of the light something like this and my second light should be well let's say a bit greenish for fun and let me move it a bit So that's actually all I wanted to show you. Uh, well I can explain a little what I did here. All I did was open the help file and search for the relay node. And position po uh, to points is quite obvious. Just uh, oh, let me zoom in. So this is my normal pass. Uh, I shuffled it out with the shuffle node from the from over here. So this is my normal pass and this is my position pass and I plug them into the uh, points to position. So uh, you can get more points by uh, more or less points by moving the slider. I can try, oh yeah, I can't increase it actually. I can change the point size over here. And the points get bigger, but I don't know why you want to do that. Well, it could be handy if you had uh, less points, of course. And the relight node is actually um, 
taking in the main node for the color takes in the camera and the lights could be attached separately or through the scene I use the scene uh, because then I can plug in uh, multiple lights it prepares a material M maybe you can add another material well uh, of course you can let me see uh, well, I use detail. Nah. Uh, just a diffuse, perhaps. This looks quite differently. So let me get back the second camera. And yeah, it works. As you can see. I use the font because it has uh, all these fancy font features so I can uh, decrease the spec alone or increase it of course I also got another pass is the, uh, the ambient occlusion part. Oh, I think mute freeze for me. Well, that's it for now. Just I was just wanted to show you this, so nothing fancy. See ya.